Hey, my loves, welcome to another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment because I love to bump gums with you. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my loves. It is yours truly, Lala Kent. Welcome back to the Give Them Lala podcast. We are fresh off of a fantastic weekend. I'm exhausted. Coachella! I'm so glad you both went. Who am I? Who are you? You should have gone, and I'm very glad that you did go. What have you should have you should not gone? Have gone? No, I, she didn't. I, she no, wasn't you, going to go. No, I know, but are you saying you wish you didn't go? Are you oh, happy? No, you I'm did? happy. Oh, okay, I'm okay. happy she went. I'm glad that she had fun. She Let deserved it. Let me break it. this down for you guys on how this happened. Please do. I was gonna go. With my ride or die, Lisa, my mother, <laughs> not to Coachella, but G-G. just to the desert. Um, I didn't have my baby this weekend. I was just going to go veg, right? And usually the gays, my husbands, stay with me. And what happens is I make sure they're well fed. I make sure they're hydrated. And then I send them out into the world of Coachella. And then I welcome them the next morning like a like a wife or Aww. a mother. A mother. <laughs> yeah, A mother. <laughs> And um, I was working out with my friend slash trainer on Wednesday. And she was like, maybe I'll go with you guys uh, just to chill out. And if there's parties, like, I'll go with the husbands. I said, great. Then I come back down after changing. My mom says, I have a great idea. Why don't I stay home and allow you to be a 33-year-old and go with your friends and go to Coachella? And I was like, well, I was offered artist passes. There we go. So, can't turn that down. Can't turn that. I mean, you right. can because so, Lala does have the ears. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, every year. I'm like, nah, nah. So we plan this big extravagant, I post on Instagram uh, plan, right? And the next day is the day that we're going to leave. And I text everyone. I go, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. The thought of it all just does not sound fun. I don't know why I would commit to anything like this. It is not me. But you're all more than welcome to still use the house and have the best time. And my mom was like, why don't we just take it one step at a time? Like sobriety, how it's one day at a time. You don't think about the bigger picture. Let's just get you to Palm Springs. Because what happens to my mind, and I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, is I start thinking about all the little details and logistics of everything. Whereas most people will go, oh my gosh, we're going to go to Coachella. It's going to be so much fun. There's going to be parties. This is my outfit. And it ends there just with excitement and the plan. My mind goes to, we have to get in the car. And then what if there's a line? And then what if I want to leave before everyone else? And what if this outfit isn't cute enough to go here? Like they're just an overwhelming amount of just processing and thoughts to where I go power down. That's, That's what I anxiety, do. baby. That's why we don't go out. That's why I'm telling you, we overthink every situation yeah. and we always overthink it into it going wrong. Nothing going right. But you right. know that's anxiety. It's worrying right. about things before they yeah. happen. Yeah. Creating a story right. before it's even uh-huh. there. I yeah. love that Lisa said that. So we're just going to get you to Palm Springs. You're going to get in the car. Here's some snacks. <laughs> We're going to get you there. I'm going to Instacart groceries to the house. If you want to leave, you can leave. If you want to stay, you're at your own house. And I was like, okay, I'm sinking into this. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then I ended up having the best time. And I, the people that I went with, which was obviously part of my, part of my orca pod, Brock and Sheena, and then Elaine and Will, who were, you know, nothing but gracious, welcome, welcoming me into their fabulous home. Because they live near the grounds. And again, Coachella is a foreign concept Mm. to me. The last time I went was when I had dark hair and dad had just passed away. So 2018. Yeah. That was my first time ever going. 1921. No, I think you went the year before. Was it the year before? The year before, I feel like. Because dad died April 21st, which would have been second week. That wouldn't make sense. But I saw Beyonce. Beyonce was the last person I saw. At so it was during the whole lemonade performance, right? Yeah, I can't speak on that for sure because I remember I was also still drinking. Okay. 
Would you have gone that close to after your dad passed? That's why I'm not sure. Maybe it was different, but I... April 14th and the 21st of 2018 was the last time she performed. Was that it? She performed on what day? Coachella Festival on April 14th. Of and what? And 21st. Of what, though? 2018. So did you see... When's your dad? I, I must have... Probably seen, the and 14th. And I've never been weekend, too. Okay. So I'm always on first weekend. 14th. Wow. So it was like, so maybe I didn't have dark hair. Do you remember what you wore? I do. And I think I that was the time that I had space buns and I was on uh, Tom Sandoval's shoulders. Mm. And I like enjoyed it with like, um, like all the Beyonce lovers that were on the show. Anyway, moving on. Moving I on. had a fabulous time. Everyone treated me like the little baby bird. Because they knew Ooh. one wrong move. She was with uh-huh. child. <laughs> I'm out of here. Well, you had to, there's two baby birds. Everyone was so sweet about the baby. And there was this woman, you guys. I, I loved her. What? She was at security. Because even though I'm pregnant, like I still brought my butt out. I still got the boobs up. As you should. And this woman who's working security, she goes, you got a boy or a girl in there? And I was like, a girl, I only, I only bring strong female forces into the world. And she goes... Are you are you on top or bottom? And I just didn't feel like getting into the like whole donor <laughs> right. thing of right. it all. Top. So I go, honey, I am always on top. Call me Cowboy Carter. <laughs> and these other security dudes who were way hot, by the way, were like, oh, hot. And I'm sitting here being like, yo, this bump. Really is getting people a little like going. the pregnancy yes. fetishers are out in full display. I don't even know if it can be considered a fetish. I think it's more attractive than not. So now it's just like the norm yeah. for men. Yeah. And maybe women. I don't know. She told me I need to get on bottom to get the boy. I said, well, Really? That's what she said. Really? They got to flip you in the stirrup next time. It's right? interesting because you've said, <laughs> Never mind. We won't get into it. What? <laughs> Wait, I've I said just, what? When you've talked about previous sex, you're like, I just laid there like a, I just laid there like a fish. Well, I with was just people like- who are lucky to even be <laughs> breathing my air, let alone looking at me and being inside of me, yes, I'm laying there like a <laughs> fish. But if I'm looking at you going, oh, you're fine. Like, I'm putting in work. Yes. Even if it's 45 seconds worth of work. <laughs> but if, but if, I, if I'm going to need, it's only, it's only happened once. If I'm going to need to pretend like you're someone else, yeah. I'm going to need to look up. Direct <laughs> ceiling shot. Starfish. Oh, that's why girls do that. We're not doing well. They're and thinking of someone why, else. Yeah. And if you're wondering why my arms are not around you, because if I feel the body, it's going to ruin what who I'm picturing. Nope. Arms out. Oh, arms out. We always thought we were just. Cannot be tight enough. We were like, oh, we are doing so well. We're sending her to God. <laughs> we're sending her to you're another level. We're just thinking level. of somebody else. We're pretending you're Odell Beckham, honey. <laughs> oh, I do that too. Shout out Odell. I do that too. <laughs> well, good. I'm, I, look, I look. After like Odell been, Beckham, she goes I, right I, to the I, camera. I look How at the camera. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> I don't know about all this. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys had fun. You looked like you had a blast. You were out. You were taking photos. You were taking content. Ass out. How? Well, let, I, yeah. everyone else got content. I did not have my phone at all. Good. And everybody like, else films. No, the one piece of content I got, well, I got a couple. Easton walking in and then a picture of me in a horrible sun hat. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the extent of my content. Which one? Anything that looked, I'm like laying there with like a towel around me and a sun hat and like these old vintage Prada glasses. Was it your sun hat? Yeah. Speaking of hats, by the way, this is a quick thing. I got a comment and someone said, honey, you need to retire the hats, meaning me. And I need to tell you really quick, you guys, because of my life right now, I I fear many, many hats coming into play. And maybe it'll be a bit, you know, maybe each from now on, each episode will be a different hat. And only the real ones who are hearing this right now will know the joke. And, and I, everyone else will be the way, why the fuck is she wearing a sun hat? Let me tell and you. We won't say anything. Let me about tell you it. something, honey. If you're if you're gonna comment on Jessica's hats, <laughs> submit a photo and I'm telling you, you better fucking look like Giselle Bunchen. Is that how you say her last yes, name? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Bunchen. Like I am I'm sick of people. She does jujitsu, by the way. I, does she? Yeah. I don't have the energy right now, you guys, or the mental capacity to put in 
to my appearance. I'm not like La. La, I feel like when yeah, you're. She's not like La. <laughs> she couldn't. She could <laughs> fucking never. She could never. <laughs> I feel like when La's... <laughs> You're wilding today. <laughs> what are you talking about? Sometimes I feel like, like when you're having the most stressful time of your life, I look at you and I'm like, why are you like fully looking amazing or like glam? You look good. And I'm are just you like, high? this is what you're going to get from for a little bit, you guys, just for a few weeks. Are you maybe. abusing the meds? <laughs> She's taking I feel like you're disoriented. Meds. <laughs> That's a joke. It's just a joke. Just a you look great. Wear hats as long as you need. And Submit new. the photo people, of yourself. I would love to judge your looks. When but, people come for our looks, I'm like, I would love see to you. see what you look like. Oh, the trolls with I the have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun photos. with you. <laughs> oh, Everybody with a dog photo talking shit. You know what? Photo at all. Um, speaking of which, you look great. Oh. Thank you. Jessica. And also, it's just, it, it is what it is. You guys know how much I love music. I love making music. And that's why my first thought when I heard about this was, where has this been my whole life? I am talking about Songfinch. Songfinch lets you create an original radio quality song inspired by your own life and the people you love. It's completely unique. It's personal. And it lasts forever. I'm going to be making a song for both of my daughters that is so wild to say. It is official. Ocean is going to be a big sister to another little girl. And what better way to celebrate this moment in my life than with Song Finch? You just tell them who the song is for, what style of song you want, and then you share some personal details about your relationship with whoever the song is for. Then a Song Finch musician of your choice writes, records, and produces your original tune in just four to seven days. And how cool is this? You can even get it on vinyl or you can add it to an online playlist. So whether your song is for Mother's Day, a birthday, an upcoming graduation or wedding, or in my case, just to show a loved one how much you care, start your song now to lock in a top Songfinch artist. And for a limited time, Songfinch is letting our listeners upload their song for free so you and the lucky person you gift can listen to it anywhere, anytime. Go to songfinch.com slash Lala and start your song. Again, my URL is songfinch.com slash Lala. Don't forget to share your song with us too. Songfinch.com slash Lala. Back to Coachella. Back to Coachella. I had a really, really nice time. No doubt was absolutely fantastic. Was it actually no doubt the full band? Like, it was not just Gwen The Stefani. full band. And I heard that... There was negotiations happening for Gwen Stefani to perform on her own. Allegedly, okay? I also heard that Taylor Swift was supposed to pop up this weekend and perform, and that did mm. not happen. She was so there, though. She was there, but she did not come out. We, it was like she's performing with Lana Del Rey. Oh, wait, Ice Spice is here. She's going to pop up there. So, again, there's, like, a lot of rumbling, so this is just something I heard. There were negotiations happening that Gwen Stefani was— her team was fighting to have her perform just a couple of her hits and no doubt was like, absolutely not. Mm. This is us or it's nothing. No doubt. And Gwen was like behind that. She was like, no, I'm that. I don't know. Okay. Okay. That I don't know. She was obviously fine with it. Yeah. I grew up on no doubt. Gwen Stefani solo came much later in, in my time of listening to great music. I love Gwen Stefani, but I mean, Every song that they played, it was just, like, amazing. And I loved when they played Hey Baby because then I rubbed my bump. <gasps> oh, yeah. I saw a lot of that content. Yeah. yeah. I was like, hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> this baby's wild. She's the energizer bunny. Is she moving a in there? baby. Is, she's going to be something Is else. she moving? I feel her every so often. It's, like, little butterflies and things like that, which is a lot of fun to feel. The first time I ever felt her was... On Ocean's third birthday. No the way. The first time. Yep. <gasps> she made a little. She was saying happy birthday to her yeah. sissy. It felt like fingertips going, hello. She probably was doing that. It was Twinkle confetti fingers. around. Yeah. Especially if she's a possible Leo. What did you just say? Twinkle fingers. No. It's twinkle toes. Yeah, but we're keeping. Fingers. Yeah, we're keeping her away from that. <laughs> I don't know. Twinkle Not toes is still hot. So <laughs> oh. we could only be so lucky if she had that bone structure. <laughs> All right. I'll give it to you. She might. She, she might. might. Um, so the, there's 
that. What were you talking about? A lot of people, producer John said that he watched it on streaming service, the No Doubt concert and Sublime. Mm. Yeah. And was it everything and more, producer John? It was great. I had a great time. It's honestly probably better than going to Coachella. Like you were saying, <laughs> you're anxi- well, the, the sound quality is perfect, and you're sitting there saying you have anxiety about going. My anxiety was, oh, oh my God, God, are the ads going to go through on time just so I can catch a set? Right. right. What's the, what's the streaming quality? Is it, it was high end? Oh, it was perfect. It's I had like it, watching an I had NFL it on, game. Yep, I had it on my surround sound in my living room. It's like watching an NFL game. See, oh, that's yeah. the, the thing. Quali- it's 4K, perfect quality. You, it's and, HD. It's almost like you're watching a movie. And that's where I'm saying this is the first time in like almost a decade that week two of Coachella is still not sold out. Yes, and because yes, of I read live about that. Streaming, because of live stream, everybody is, you know, back in the day, you had to go to see these people. If you didn't go, you miss Coachella. Well, it also now costs can, an arm and a leg right. to go, it does, you guys. It does. I mean, it's but, a luxury to go to that festival. We got, I think, maybe six coffees. It was $100. No, Are you lying the, to me? I saw I'm some not girl joking. Get, she got a juice. Mm-hmm. And two burritos for breakfast, like breakfast burritos, and she spent sixty five dollars. A frick that? No, I. <laughs> but that's what I mean. It's yeah, like, no, that it's that, and that's why I didn't even go to the festival. I just went to like the little. Do you have to pay parties. to stream it? Free. Well, maybe they should start <laughs> charging like just a little bit, well, not yeah, a lot. Like five dollars. Yeah, yeah, they need to do it like the MMA. It's like a pack. You know, the package deal, it's $100 for all the fights. So Fuck off. Get Stop paid. charging people $100 to watch a screen, okay? I, I was talking like five bucks admission. I know. Five bucks. A hundred percent. bucks. Granted, well, this yes. is the MMA, so they're getting their heads knocked in and stuff. That's so true. a little bit. Did you, you know. watch the fight? Eh, never yeah, mind. I did watch the fight. I did. Wild. Yeah, it was great. Um, Here's the thing. Things like Coachella, I'm like, yes. You watch it on streaming because it's expensive. So many people can't be there. It's an arm and a leg. But other things that aren't as expensive, lean into the experience because that's our future. It's just behind screens, behind a screen, behind a screen. If you can go somewhere, go. I I agree. And you know what they could lean into hmm. is making it a little bit more exclusive. I know that that sounds not great. What do you mean? Coachella or the, the screen? Making, if but you're not exclus- selling out tickets, with- why don't you tighten up how many VIP passes there are? Tighten but up how many. To, prices have to go up, right? If you're going to make True. less tickets, then if then we're prices already, have to go up. So Absolutely. we're already complaining it's a but luxury if- at what it is. If you're going to make it more exclusive, now we have to pay more? But for are, people com- are people involved in Coachella complaining that we haven't sold out? It's like if you're complaining about being sold out, then up the pr- and because of streaming, no, they're wishing you either they take were away sold the street, right? So there's two th- two ways to do it: make it more exclusive, up the prices, and have it a, a way tighter event, right? Yeah. Or take away the streaming, or make it less exclusive, make it cheaper. You make can it buy cheaper Coachella without tickets. having oh, the streaming. Oh, and it's go just, and, I don't think I can do it. Well, well yeah. that's the reason why they also have it at, at that at that. Cost, yeah. Also, know? can I tell you, because influencers are running wild, like I went with the Guzmans who know all the TikTokers. I am in that sweet spot generation where like I don't quite know. Like most of the people who performed, I had not a one clue. Wild. Not like I knew Ice Spice, Tyler, the, all the headliners I knew. And then maybe one name in the many names that were listed for each day. Right. And do you think that's a problem with the Coachella sales this year with the lineup? Because well, by I've the seen way, that as well. That was the yes. Not all the it can I don't be a know lineup. who these people are. And also, you got these TikTokers running around who are all expecting, expecting free stuff. Mm-hmm. They've got like tons of millions of followers, right? On TikTok. And so a lot of these passes are just being given to people for free, like artist passes. Yeah. VIP, GA, doesn't matter. It's just like someone reaches out to someone and they're like, they have X amount of millions of followers on socials. Here's a pass. And the generation of TikTokers, which is below millennials, what are they, Gen Z? Gen Z. They just expect things. Yeah. So you've got a bunch of influencers running around who didn't pay for anything. Right. Which, great, but you can't expect to sell out an event or make much money if you're giving giving X amount of passes a way to just be given to these like random there were these group of dudes that were running wild right and like i literally was like tiktokers 
And Leo and Logan were like, they've got like 70 million followers on TikTok. And I'm like, I couldn't give less uh, of a fuck. They're I annoying. Could not care less. What were their names? Do you In remember? Combat Boots. And just thinking they were A-list celebrities. I'm like, can we all take a moment to acknowledge that none of us are that fucking cool? The only cool people that are at this festival right now are obviously like Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way. What? By the way. So I get on for this podcast to just see what the A-listers are doing at Coachella. And I see page six. And there's a bunch of photos. And the way that it's written, you're thinking, like, if you're an outsider, like a normie, you're reading these and being like, oh, what a fabulous weekend. Scrolling, scrolling, because, you know, I got to do research for the pod. Sure. And I come across myself. Stop. Yeah. That's why I... Looking, yeah. looking all the... Con holding my belly, looking all kinds of concerns. I need to see. <laughs> I need to see. Go on. I cannot. Stop. I'm so... Dead. You got <laughs> look at my look at my face. My face. It looks like Do I'm you feeling my belly what you're being doing like, there. You probably probably like thinking I'm going into early labor because I've walked 500 miles. Yeah, that and or you someone saw the cost call of my OB and chopper him in immediately. <laughs> like what? Where am I? I think for a split second I looked around, realizing where I was, and had a slight panic. Right. Yeah. That was a great outfit, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Loved that dress. Oh um, my god. Can you, you told me this morning you talked about an uh, article you came across about everyone just enjoying themselves. Do you even want to get into that or not? I'm so sick of the freaking internet, by the way. Yeah. And by the way, I was shown so much love at Coachella. I so appreciate every single person that came up and just like was showing all the love in the world. And there were these group of girls. And remember, I stay off the internet. The only reason why I know I'm not getting a lot of love and a lot of hate <laughs> instead is because I have friends call me going, how are you doing? Right. I'm very protective of you, Lauren. And the way people are talking about you, I'm like, okay, well, thank you. Don't know what you're talking about. Assuming it's not good. Right. <laughs> Assuming it's not good out there and I will still be ignoring. <laughs> right. But this group of girls came up and they were showing all the love and they were hot too. Yeah. Which made me feel good. There were a lot of There were a lot of hotties. Nice Everyone who approached there. me, I was mm. like, damn. These Lala fans looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're nice. But this group, they said, we're loving you. We've always loved you. And I was like, that means a lot to me. I needed to hear that. Whatever. And they were like, just so you know, the people who fuck with you are like normal. We're not in the comment section. The crazies are in the comment section. The crazies are posting. So just know you have a lot of people out there. But we're, we're just like sane people. We're living our lives. <laughs> like, we're just like, we love her so much and we don't go to the mats in the comment section. And That's I was like, so, yes. okay, I like that. Because I would much rather have my people, like, stay out of it, you know? How many times do you come across something that makes you happy or articles or watch a show? It's rare. And you go and you go, you go, you know what? I'm going to, and bravo for the ones who do, thank you. But I'm going to comment the nicest things because I just really feel the need to tell them this. It's the people who are sad and they watch and they go, well, I feel pain about myself and my pathetic life. So I want to make this person feel as bad as they can. So I'm going to go everywhere. I'm going to comment on the podcast, on the YouTube, on their Instagram. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. Focus on your mental health instead. Take yeah. the time to do that because eh, you're sad. Yeah. Well, I've told my friends, please don't call me to do a wellness check. Yeah. I'm not seeing it. And when you call me and ask me if I'm okay and you're protective and it's like not good out there. Well, now you're making my mind run. If I wanted to see, I would go search for it. So please, like, I don't need wellness checks. Like, I'm actually, Staying before off. this call, I'm the happiest I've kind of yeah. ever been. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on out there. And now you yeah. have me worried about what's going on out there. And for a second, my mom, someone said something in our group of friends. And my mom said, you know, I just like living in my bubble. And I was like, but actually we live in reality. That's what I was telling no you. No one cares about what's being talked about unless you enter the bubble. That's what I'm saying. You keep, you always say like, I like living in my bubble, but I'm like, la, it's, it's the bubble is the negativity. Like if you go outside of that bubble, people are like, very oh, yeah. happy. I know Vanderpump Rules, cool show. You were, <laughs> she'll say to me, I'm a 11 gym. seasons. Yeah. Wow, you guys do really, really great work. work. They go, wait, you work for Lala? <laughs> I've, I've heard her on the show. Great girl. <laughs> Like, yeah. I yeah. like I like the real Fabulous. world. I'm staying right? in it. Like, like 
I'm I'm happy in the real world. Baking a kid? Yeah. No. Doing the podcast, by the way. What? What? Did I should no, I say I'm something about to wrong? I lose my mind. I just saw your shirt. <laughs> 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 I'm looking and I'm like, what either. shirt is she wearing? Not sorry, Fofty. I fucking love 50 Cent. Okay. <laughs> Wait, anyway. let, me, let me And read my it again. crush oh. on 50 came shortly after my obsession with Kobe Bryant when he dropped down to in the club in right. his music video. And I remember being in my parents' bedroom with it on the TV, and I had to sit down on the bed because I was just wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> On my parents' Whoa. bed. Oh, I'm going to throw like, up. Who is this man? Uh, this man. This <laughs> hunk of man. Yeah. He, he can do no wrong in my eyes. Oh, I love that. I Even love that when he that trolls shirt. me and, call, and calls me <laughs> a crack baby. I'm turned on. Um, we'll so take very, it. very quickly. Yes. I did see, um, I follow LA Times on socials. Right. And they posted this like super cute Coachella 2024 photos of festival fashions. For some music fans, Coachella, Coachella doubles as a way to express their style with the Empire Polo Club in Indio acting as one big grass covered runway. I get into the comments section. Influencer cringe fest. Coachella fashion is some of the worst. I used to, it used to be about the music. Now people looking for validation because their parents didn't hug them enough. So Coachella fashion is uniformly fucking terrible for attention-seeking toddler adults. Tell me you couldn't get tickets without telling me you couldn't get tickets. <laughs> right. Tell me you feel like a fucking loser and you've always been a fucking loser without telling me you're a fucking loser. It's so pathetic and so sad. And like, we're all just out here trying to survive life, you Assholes. And by the way, all the photos are like so freaking cute. People and just having fun. Having the best time in the world. Well, let me put it this way. Wearing shoes that would break my back even in the normal world, let alone walking miles. In <laughs> dirt and miles grass. in dirt. I'm like, what you should be doing is coming to the comment section being like, put this person in Milan. How yeah. are, are they, they still it? standing? And I realize the irony of me having just said dragged the TikTokers male crew and now I'm like by the let way, people live no 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 <laughs> by the way though by the way I'm dragging the TikTokers because they're not in these streets just having fun they're out in these streets getting their contact and acting like little assholes mm, okay so we're not <laughs> talking about those but the people no. just like I saved up to come here I'm having a blast I'm looking fire let them live good for you yeah no the TikTokers I'm dragging them because like you're kind of rude <laughs> You're rude. I do, like you're mean to the person in front of me who's making us tacos. Yeah, asking where they are. Well, I don't know. And There's with 87 no people waiting for their tacos. So like, stop being an asshole. Mm, we right. don't like the assholes. Right. So, so no. that's I drag you when you're a dick. Yeah. Okay. I did anyway. meet a lot of people who uh, they felt like they were meant to be there or supposed to be there. You know. Meant. What to do you be mean? There. Like, like you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome that I came. Here to this event for whomever. Like, they were very mm. arrogant. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. that's just the way it Sublime felt. Sublime is yeah. here, and you're welcome. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Like, like what if Gwen thing. Stefani's on this ground, so yet here I am. Right? T-Pain. <gasps> I got to see T-Pain. You got to see T-Pain. You got to see Mansion with Hanson? So, I know. He oh sang, my. he really did all the best ones, Did too. he? Oh, all of the good ones. He did I'm Sprung. Oh. Oh, Buy I'm you a drink. Oh, my God. He did, he did them all. And that was at the uh, Celsius event. Oh, wow. But that, so yeah, that wasn't good. Coachella. But yeah, no, it was. Oh, I only so went it was a to, separate event. I didn't even go to Coachella. I just went Easy to like. He didn't go to Coachella. Yeah, I didn't he have, just went to the parties, which a lot of people do. Yeah. I would have done that. Way I would have done that. I would have been there with you. I'm yeah. going next year. So, like, we You went, can't say way better when you've never been to the I've <laughs> never been to Coachella, <laughs> but it was He's like, way it's better. Way better. Oh, way better. I can already tell. Uh, I can already no, but, tell. That is because they have fantastic musical guests at yeah. a lot of these parties. Chantel it's, Jeffries was there. She did the DJ is it before. Chantel or Chantel? Chantel Doesn't Chantel. matter. She's Doesn't hot matter. and very She's talented. Sexy Jeffries is what we call her. Sexy Jeffries. Sexy she is sexy Jeffries, so right? Mm -hmm. She's so hot. I saw her, like she was walking, taking a, like, a little photo shoot, and I was like, oh. My okay, God. before we my move knees on. Buckled. <laughs> <laughs> from Coachella, my oh. knees buckled. Knees buckled. 
I, I, this whole time I've been worried about getting me laid. I think we need to worry about getting you laid. I we know. need to get you some laid. So horny, I'd come. Oh, eyes. Now I know how you feel when I talk about it. I love Someone this. Someone shove me I into a this. cannon and boom, shoot boom, me ba -boom, ba -boom, to another ba -boom. planet. I need to put some hands okay, on Okay, okay, ass. okay. You'll okay. be Mr. Right, 45 right. we'll the first on. time we'll you're back. <laughs> yeah, I'd be better. <laughs> if he's lucky. <laughs> okay. One pump I have to give DJ James Kennedy. His a flowers lot of credit. Okay, let's hear. Did Why? you see his thing? What, what? that what thing? video? About it's you guys at the reunion. Yes, and he says I'm going to be a and pretty it's dope season four, I think. And he goes, I'm going to be playing at Coachella one day. I've got big, I've got big dreams or something like that. And he performed at Neon Carnival. And for those of you who don't know what Neon Carnival is, it is the biggest party of Coachella. Mm -hmm. Like you cannot get tickets. It is or wristbands. They have in, they had Buster Rhymes. I really, really, really wanted to make it. Mm -hmm. He didn't go on until two a.m., which I think had I not been pregnant, I would have really fucking rallied my ass off to make sure that I saw it. Just because it was such a monumental moment, I had been walking all day, and I got to be honest, like tummy started cramping. I do have the umbilical hernia that mm -hmm. starts like feeling very uncomfortable. It was a lot of walking. Um. So I just wasn't physically able to make it. But I'm so fucking proud of him. He is a star. And listen to this. So this is in page six. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey locking lips at Neon Carnival after backstage PDA. And then, by the way, an eyewitness from, the in, from inside the event says Vanderpump Rule star James Kennedy was DJing at this very moment. <gasps> Unclear if his music helped set the mood. Yeah! Let me tell you, oh. James Kennedy's music sets all the moods. James, that's incredible. Congrats. It what was an amazing it was. It was way cool. accomplishment. And we can't wait to see you there next year. I know. Well, he's DJing at, um, he's opening for a very big DJ. At Stagecoach? At Stagecoach. You're lying Where to I me. will see him because I will be there in a very different environment. Hold on. I've never been to Stagecoach. To Stagecoach. You're coming to Stagecoach yeah. this year. Isn't it most during the day and then at night it's... There's like Neon Carnival still exists at Stagecoach. Oh. They still do the whole thing. But let's keep in mind we're taking mom. Uh, yeah. well, we yeah, have mom. No, we I have a one-year-old imagine... going with us. Like it's going to be very... I'm still... I told Danielle. I was like... Home I'm by 11. I'm still dressing with my butt out and my bump As and my boobs. As you should. Stagecoach is country and now, mostly. Yeah. I'm right. dropping triple B's on these hoes. All triple right? I don't give a damn. Oh, no. Throw some yeah. B's on that. Around it. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be fun. No. You guys, be fun. you guys will be at the country festival that weekend, and I think I will be at Sick New World, which is metal. So it'll be different world. Where's that at? Let's Vegas. go. Let's Vegas. go. Oh, producer John's going to be there, too. Oh, Jess and I will be see. in circle pits all day. Mosh pits, circle pits. With We're going to be going wild. With some circled pits. <laughs> Sweaty freaks. Sweaty circle pit and <laughs> running in a circle. Producer John, are you VIP or no? No, I'm okay, general Okay, good. You're, you're with the us, the real oh, us. Oh, GA might as well have been VIP. I'm like, who are all you people in my section? Really, though? No. <laughs> For real, though. Oh, like I VIP can't... might as well have been GA? Like yeah, there was a bunch the of... same Oh, okay, thing. okay, okay. Well, that was... So night one, I don't know if you guys noticed, but night one... Not for Coachella. VIP but. should be right by the stage, is what I think. Is it not? No, GA. First come, first serve. We're way in the back. Oh, I didn't Easier know to that. get drinks and things like that. Who cares? No. <laughs> what do you mean artist pass? So an artist pass, you well, couldn't get up to the oh, stage? Oh, artist pass was like oh, side good. stage. Okay, yeah. good, good, good. No. But I can't tell not you how many sight, people. On the ground and still just as packed like sardines. I was like, I I'm I don't understand. Right. But everybody would go up because they'd go, here's your band. You'd put it on, slip it on. Slip it on. You'd go up, and then you would just, like, hand it down to your buddy. I saw sure. so many people. Doing that. that? Yeah, like, of I didn't course. even know them. But, like, they'd walk that up, would give and then me they would just, like, heart attack. flip the band down, and then they'd just, like, give them, like, a handshake. And, and then we, they'd slip it on and then walk well, up and Why didn't do it you again. say that when I was talking about how they, why they're not making money because they're giving passes away? Nope. Yeah. People are sneaking in. Well, mm -hmm. so that so on <laughs> no night one. No wonder they're not making money. So night one that was happening. Night two, they started to like cinch it for you. Oh, like usually give they me would your give you the band, so you'd put it on, but it was up to you to cinch. Sure. I think they found that out. So night two, they literally grabbed my wrist and just like cinched it all the way up, and I was like, "Yeah." Night you can't. two for what? Just like on parties, the, neon. So nylon. 
and then I think they learned. <laughs> yeah, I didn't make it into nylon either. No, I was, you didn't make it anywhere. But then again, I, I didn't, made it to the festival and, and walked I was miles say. upon miles. I did miles not do that. I was in at home second trimester in the pool, looking like a whole snack. By the way, whole I, snack. Yeah. Like, so whomever that snack is looking good to. <laughs> yes. No, but like you, you didn't you go anywhere. Great. No, I went I, where it mattered, mister. I didn't get into the festival, only the parties. <laughs> could have. Could have. We got on a whole list. Snuck. Well. Snuck. We could have. Snuck the sneak <laughs> we is could what have. your name is. I have been very open with you guys about my hair struggles between pregnancy hormones, then bleaching it all the time. They really did a number on my hair. And then I'd also start stressing out about how those things did a number on my hair. And that did not help the situation. I have baby number two on the way, and I'm already being proactive with my hair thanks to Nutrafol. Nutrafol was recommended to me after I had Ocean, and by the way, it is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement with over one million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding, and I am definitely one of those people. You can take the Nutrafol hair wellness quiz on Nutrafol.com for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes, because I know we all have different hair journeys. I am aware of that. And Nutrafol makes building a hair growth routine so much easier. Purchase online, no prescription required. You get free shipping and automatic deliveries so that you never miss a day. And you'll see results in three to six months. So take the first step for visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering Give Them Lala listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter promo code LALA. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code LALA. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code LALA. Before we move on to all the fun things, um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the Give Them Lala podcast. We've officially made it. We have trolls in the comment hey! section. Hey! That's how you know. What did you've they made say? It. I don't. Remember. I don't know. I started. Oh, okay. It. it sucks because now I have to avoid. I used to go into mm-hmm. the comment section on the podcast page and like interact with people because it was safe happy so. and safe there. Yeah. It is not safe. We we've made it. The pod is officially on the map. We have trolls, and now I can't go in, even go in there. To- well, I'm sorry for that. You know what we I and we never do this because we don't need to because we know that you know you friends love everyone. But if you feel up to it and you're scrolling through the stuff and you go, I'm gonna leave a nice comment. Go ahead and do that because on the podcast page. Yeah, on the podcast page. Yeah, yeah. And on the YouTube. Any and just on leave the nice comments. Yeah, reviews. Blow it up, Blow it up baby. Um. I saw that um, we have a Abby and Brittany update, but go say what okay, you're gonna Okay, we're say. gonna move on okay. to that. I just want to put this out there real quick. Goofy, uh, yes, Goofy, Goofy the Disney. dog. Yeah, <laughs> Goofy is being sued for negligence, inflict- inflicting trauma in Disneyland Collision. <laughs> Something happened. I didn't read the article. I just read the headline. Is this the Goofy and Disneyland are named in a lawsuit? Law, this is a one collision. time that I wish you didn't just read the headline because I think we need a few more details. All right. Well, I, I was saved, he a mascot? I saved the link. A woman has sued Disneyland and an unnamed employee in a goofy costume, claiming the character actor hurt her in a fall. And then it says, Oh, Goofy, what have you done now? <laughs> Katarina Amion Amion Redfern Griffin was bent over tying her daughter's shoes during a trip to Disneyland in April 2022 when a park employee dresses Goofy, the klutzy but lovable cartoon canine, barreled straight into her, according to the lawsuit. Then, she claims, he fell on top of her with all of his weight, driving driving her into the hard cement floor. Griffin suffered severe, traumatic, debilitating, and permanent physical injuries from the collision, along with emotional. This is where I draw emotional it. emotional pain and suffering. No, Here's the thing: Goofy dollar. was in the bad, in the wrong. Goofy, you got to watch where you're going, even though it's probably hot and you're in that costume. And you can and only he see was, like <laughs> he was probably for having, ten degrees out. Let me tell you like, something: this girl's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> And how are you this gonna... girl's a fucking square. Could you imagine? Right? I'm sorry that you have a lot of um, injuries that I'm sure Disney would pay for. Right. I don't think we need to go the lawsuit route. 
for you to say emotional pain and suffering, he fell you're on welcome. You. The Do you know what I wish? Weird. I wish I could say Goofy fell on top. Like if he popped an implant, I'd be like, yo, Disney. You got to pay, yeah. pay for my new boob job. And I also want them bigger. So you'll have to upgrade <laughs> them as well. Or chipped it too. That's my Pay thought. for my dental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I get it. He's in Broken this giant ribs. mat. Pay for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to know, and it, it, I want to know that if there's long term effects of my injuries, I know it was an accident. I'm sure Goofy didn't mean to pummel me into the ground yeah. and feels, but bad. I'm bent down tying a shoe. Accidents happen, but like I want to know that if I have to go back in every five years for injections or whatever the fuck I may need, that I can send you the bill and you'll just pay for yeah. it. Yeah, please, hundred percent. Yes, but like, like rehabilitation. Yes, I'm so sick of these people being so sue happy. The whole like the America's McDonald's too girl. Happy. Oh, that was forever ago. America's exactly. too but happy. But that's the reason it's why we beyond. have warning hot yeah. on everything because and she the was slippery the one. when wet. Yep, and Science. slippery when wet. Yeah, and it's like, oh, wow, it's just people. beyond. I'm I'm not saying like people shouldn't be held accountable. Like yes, pay for my my stuff, but you fell and, fe- and you goofy get- pummeled you, and now you want some moolah from it because you're um. The emotional trauma from it? Girl, I'd hate to see if something actually devastating happened to you. (laughs) And I hope he didn't hurt the kid. Like, if she's tying the shoe, it sounds like Goofy might have fallen on both of them. I hope not. Because then it's like, oh, that's a bummer. But It's it's a a bummer, but I highly doubt Goofy was was trying to pummel this woman. Looked down and was like, look at this dumb bitch. I'm about to fuck her up. (laughs) (laughs) Tying her kid's shoelace. I'm about to fuck her shit up. You probably couldn't see through the. <laughs> you're on the ground. I'm literally <laughs> looking up the costume right now. No, and I heard those get. And I'm going to really tell hot. you, the first thing that you won't be able to see is downwards because yeah. you look out of his mouth. That's crazy. You look out of mouth, it's so it's just crazy. It's just be, goofy. It's, it's just goofy. <laughs> goofy, what are you done now? Um, what were you going to say, Jessica? I was going to give you guys a, uh, which I'm sure you've already seen, a Abby and Brittany Hensel update. Yes, which the are con, the, the conjoined, conjoined twins. twins. Okay, so we didn't think this was going to happen, but which I'm going to see which one came out with a statement. I think it was Abby. Okay. So, uh, no, Ooh. well, Brittany and Abby Hensel. So this is Twitter. So they must have the same account. So they responded since everyone, which I'm sure they were annoyed, but it is what it is. We played a part in it. Everyone was asking the, the questions about sex and they came out with a statement because everyone is asking. We're just going to tell you one. Yes, I have sex with my husband. Two, yes, I go down on him. Three, yes, my sister Brittany is there. Obviously. And she's down there too. Four, yes, my sister and I orgasm as one. But when I sleep with my husband, she's usually reading a book or listening to a true crime podcast. So she just puts the pleasure out of her mind. Fascinating. 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 I could, I mean, I could not imagine orgasming as I'm listening to a true crime podcast, but hell yeah. I got to know what? I respect it. There's nothing you can do about it. We're conjoined twins. And you know what? I respect that they make it work. Me too. You know? You can sit there and be like, oh, it sounds like a nightmare. There's nothing I can do about it. Do I wish that my twin had her own separate vagina? Yeah, but we don't. So here we are. We make it work. Good for you ladies. Good for both of them. Yeah. Good for them. I respect the sister for being like, bitch, That's who if I, you are happy, to the yeah. true I, I will sleep next to him. I just wonder when she falls in love, they're going to have to have a, a to put two California no, kings just, or no. Just one California just, no, they're or all sure. one Alaska yeah. and she's in the middle and then the husband on the side of I don't even, each of them. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 I don't even want to know... M- about the sex life as much as as like the arguments. Because if my bitch ass sister, who always has Kyle's side, was right here, I would be I'd be like punching her because she always has his side. And if Kyle and I were in an argument, and then I've got this girl right here being like, "He's right, you know. He's right. <laughs> You're a bitch." I'd be like, "Fuck you, Katie." No, I love, you. I love like, you. No, but it sounds like they they've been doing this their whole entire life. They know the drill. They're like, "I stay out of it. Like I'm not here because." I shouldn't be, but I'm conjoined. <laughs> yeah. yeah, put my yeah. AirPods in. No, I have mad respect for them. Actually, Abby and Brittany, if and you ever want to come on the podcast, please do. It sounds kind of fun to be like fight the orgasm, fight the orgasm. <gasps> Just listen to the 2020 episode. You know in what your I, ears. Was, I was right. thinking how fun right. if like you, if she met somebody, how fun it would be to like if I were to get along with the husband. What do you mean, like? like <sighs> 
her oh, the guys. Yeah, like the two guys are now like good homies and they're like, oh, these and bitches. And they have sex. So oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They're fun. making it work. So I have two game changers to share with you when it comes to upping your glam game. I am totally obsessed with Impress No Glue Mannies and Impress Press On False Eyelashes because I'm very into just easy right now and anyone can do it. You are going to love them just as much as I do. Both require zero glue, so there is no damage to your natural nails and lashes. There's also no annoying dry time. And the best part, zero mess. One step and you're done. The lash style options are endless, and there are so many on-trend nails to choose from. Impress, no glue manis, and press-on falsies are the easiest and fastest way to upgrade your look in just minutes. The press-on falsies have a unique under-lash application for a totally seamless look and are made with an exclusive self-stick technology that keeps them secure for up to 24 hours. The Impress Mannies have a patented super hold adhesive for up to seven days secure hold, and that's perfect for all of you busy mamas out there who don't have a lot of time to spend on glam but want to look your best. I completely get it. Impress No Glue Mannies and Impress No Glue Press on Falsies are absolutely a beauty must. You need to try them right now, so get yours today at impressbeauty.com slash lala and use code lala at checkout for 25% off Impress Manicure and Press on Falsies. That's impressbeauty.com slash lala and use code lala at checkout for 25% off. Lightning round of one of my most favorite shows on Bravo, which is Real Housewives of Potomac. Robin Dixon confirms exit from Real Housewives of Potomac on her podcast. Robin said, yes, I will not be returning for season nine. Um, It's reality. The network did not invite me back. I was fired for lack of better words. I will not sugarcoat this situation and say, oh, I am walking away and this is a break or anything like that. This is a network decision. I love when a Bravo celebrity is like, I was fired. Right. They didn't want me back. Right. It's all good. Right? No bad blood. Keep it real. You've kept it real this whole time on TV. Keep it. Well, I think that's why they let her go. Oh. She hasn't been keeping it real. Well. Um, but oh, well, she kept it real now. You know what? She needs a job again. Yeah. <laughs> Start keeping Robin it real. Robin can do no wrong in my eyes. Um, NECA, who I can't speak for everyone, but I really enjoyed watching this season. Uh, the Jasmine brand exclusively reports that she will not uh, be returning and has allegedly been fired from the Real Housewives of Potomac after her first season. I really enjoyed watching her. I thought she was great. I thought she, like, really came to the mats, um, knew the assignment. But I guess we'll see uh, for season 10. Candace Dillard Bassett, who recently left. She has pipes of gold, honey. Mm. She's pregnant! Yay! Woo! Congrats, Candace. 13 weeks. She said, I'm about 13 re- weeks, so just about into my second trimester. It's been weird, but also very wonderful. First pregnancies are weird. Something's growing inside of you. <laughs> it's yeah. very strange. And it's your job to keep it safe and alive. And you're like, but I really wanted to go to Disney World and ride the roller coasters. <laughs> but you can't. So, um, Candice, we are so extremely happy for you. Congratulations. Um, and we're wishing you a very happy and healthy pregnancy and birth. Um, Alexia Nepola's husband uh, from Real Housewives of Miami has filed for divorce. Um, he filed on April 11th, claiming their marriage is irretrievably broken. Congrats, Alexia. Congrats, Alexia. Woo! We're so happy for you. You're free. <sighs> Um, <laughs> I know I always feel so <laughs> bad. I'm so like, good. I'm the friend you come to last when you feel like you've processed. You're like, yay! Because whenever my friends tell me like it's not working out, I'm leaving him. I'm like, this is so exciting. Good for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. You're a good, you can finally be happy away from that. Fuck. Right. Oh no. Um. Yeah. So I, I really I, hate being a man. If on you're this show. if you're my friend, Fuck. come to me last. <laughs> By the way, I grew up watching very happy, healthy marriages. I don't know what happened to right. me. Yeah, well, I'm wondering. But even mom, that. I was talking to Jessica about it today. Remember, dad would be like, so what's for dinner? And my dad was like, he did not look at women like they were supposed to cook and clean and do X, Y, and Z. Like, at all. My family has always been very progressive. It was just a simple question. Like, <laughs> what are we eating tonight? Right? And my mom would be like, I'm not cooking. Yeah. <laughs> You're hungry? <laughs> Order something. You can cook. There's a stove. <laughs> I love her. I'm like, I think my dad was like just asking, like, what do we feel like? I'm more yeah, than happy, I'm happy to like to go grab it. something. Just an easy breezy question, Lise. Like my mom said, I've been working all day. <laughs> <laughs> 
She said, fuck you, order takeout. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Lisa hadn't been working all day. <laughs> Mom worked our whole life. What are you talking about? Uh, there were some days she was off. Well, she worked just because she was bored. I love it. wasn't because she had yeah. to until she had to. Right. You know, the recession. Doesn't mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anyway, I love it all. Last thing, and then we'll dive into uh, Vanderpump Rules. Mexican news channel accidentally shows intimate body part instead during the eclipse. <laughs> People around the world were ready to experience the solar eclipse. <laughs> One, <laughs> they experienced an asshole. <laughs> what? It was a different moon. <laughs> In Mexico, one news station in Mexico asked viewers to submit their own <laughs> footage of the event. One of the videos shown on live TV ended up being a pair of testicles. It is so funny. If you have the chance, go look it up because you see the moon and you're no. looking at it. Then all of a sudden you see testicles just start going out of nowhere, just flapping back no. and forth. The video no. is focused on a bright light before the testes dipped into the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> the testes dip it. <laughs> Guys, like, I'll show you in a clip. That is worded oh so Oh, my well. God. <laughs> oh, that is oh, funny. You oh. shouldn't have done that, sir, but thank you. That's fucking Oh, my fucking gosh, funny. I'm dead. Um, okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's All right, funny. Vanderpump Rules. What, yes. are, what are we talking about? Well, I think this week we had just watched, we have just watched the sperm party, which is Woo-hoo! what I thought we'd focus on, and it was beautiful. How do you, what do you feel about that party? Uh, what do you remember about your feelings in that moment? Because we know now you are with child. I know, it's wild, right? 20 weeks pregnant, halfway there. And you said in uh, one of the clips, you said this, so next summer I may have a belly, and here you are. Here yeah. I am with a belly. So how Love do you it. feel? Bumping. Um, I feel excited. I'm excited that everybody could see how I made um, my donor experience with the California Cryobank um, very much my own and very personal. Mm-hmm. I had all of my nearest and dearest friends and family weighing in. They drew pictures of what they thought the baby would be. We'll release those, uh, you guys. They're hilarious. Like what it would look like. Mm-hmm. We pinned the sperm... Um, I just, I'm happy because we've spoken about this. And when I first met, again, California Cryobank was recommended to me by a friend and they had just secured their donor. And I said, I'm getting a donor. Can you link me up with somebody? And they gave me Brian's number who you guys saw on last night's episode. He has worked for the California Cryobank for many years. Um, and I just felt like, they really babied me and they had worked with my fertility specialist before who I ended up going to, um, after the season wrapped in December. Um, but I've been talking about how I made the experience mine because it was different, you know, with the conception of ocean, there was a really amazing conversation that happened. It wasn't just like an oops, I'm pregnant. It was like a very beautiful moment being like, wow, we're really going to like create a family. So with this, I wanted it to be, I I didn't want it to be cold. Like I'm just getting a donor and I picked him and, you know, we're going to go get an IUI. It was like, let's all weigh in. I'm going to pick, because it's hard. Mm -hmm. This isn't like a shirt that I can take back if I'm not (laughs) into it. Nope. (laughs) You know? Sure can't. I'm not walking into Zara being like, I like all three of these shirts. And if I don't enjoy the one when I try it, I'll just return it. Yeah. Okay, I like... These are my top three choices. I'm really be, like being drawn to all of them. But then the moment that we all kind of weighed in and we were like, this is the donor, it just felt so right. Yeah. And just so you guys know, because I know they didn't show, I didn't know if they'd show the inside of the binders. So there were baby photos mm-hmm. of the donors. Lala didn't, you've said this before, but you did not see adult photos. I didn't want to see adult photos. Yeah. So that was, in case anyone was wondering, I'm sure uh, questions will be asked, which, by the way, I'd like to plug here. Tomorrow, April 18th, Lala um, will be having a professional from California Cryobank on for Monday's bonus episode. So you guys, right into the podcast, we'll post a prompt. Ask any questions you have about last night's episode as far as that process. Ask Lala, ask the professional, um, and they'll try and get to as many as they can, I think it'll be a good episode. Well, it's wild because I've had so many women reach out, not just with support, but actually wanting to go this route. Yeah. Um, 
one of which is actually a very well-known woman. Okay. Who sent me a message again last night and was like, hey, girl, you still haven't sent me the info for where you went to secure your donor or your fertility specialist. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so happy you sent this because mentally I responded. And then my pregnancy brain Mm. just completely did not. So, yeah, no, we're making moves and I've got it all figured out. Well, it was just saying, right. You do. You really do. And it was beautiful to watch. And Easton and Lise were there. And um, it was a really, really beautiful day. It, it was. was. Yeah. How did you feel about it, Easton? Yeah. I loved it. I mean, it, watching it, for me, I, I honestly didn't even see myself in it. But I was trying But you to, were there. I mean, yeah. to, to be honest, I, I, I didn't I watch you. the episode either. So, yeah, I watched but the episode. But I was episode. there. I lived yeah, the like, moment. Honestly, I don't love cameras and things like that but so from like the experience of like just watching it and then actually being a part of it in there like i loved being there it was beautiful i don't know it was special and i'm very happy and i'm very excited and it's yeah i don't know isn't it yeah. why it's, it's wild weird to, to think see. about and then be like well it seems like it was yesterday now watching it i don't know if it felt like you, that and i'm like thinking oh my gosh this is so cr-. and then i'm thinking holy shit she has a girl on the way yeah like Isn't that crazy? There. Isn't that crazy? You guys, you it's wanna... April. It, it's April 15th. Yep. I'm going to mark it in my calendar. A year from now, I feel like so much is happening right now and so much is going on. You're pregnant with a baby girl. So much is happening. A year from now, we're going to check back in and see where we are. Because this is just like watching that episode last night. You're right. It was like, whoa. We had no idea if it would take, if yeah. you'd be struggling right now to get pregnant. Whether if you, it would knows? be a boy or a girl. Yes. Right. Like, it's so crazy to watch it, like, now. And yeah. then yeah. putting it there, seeing everything that, like, think of where you were when that was being filmed. You didn't yeah. have a home. Like, now we're in a home. Oh, my God, you didn't. Like the, there's all no. these well, little things. That, I mean, I lived, well, I had the apartment. Well, yeah, the apartment, yeah. but you just moved into your home, and I was thinking of all of these things, and I was like, because you asked um, Ariana if you could use her house. So I was thinking, like, how crazy now that, like, your daughter's third birthday was in your home. Yeah. But all of these things, and I was just like, this is crazy that this was not even a year ago, and to see how far you are from that point, you know, like, yeah, yeah. thank you. So, Easton. no, it's, I mean, I, yeah, no, I, I kind of cried during it. I was very Aww. excited. Like, when people were doing that, no, I'm very excited and I'm excited for another little girl. I am too. I'm Cause I was so watching excited Tom for him, Segura. Me he even yeah. said, he goes, I have two boys and he goes, I have a friend with two girls and he goes, and I don't know what the hell I did to deserve two <laughs> fucking boys. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take that with me and I'm very blessed to have two They're little just... girls to yeah. come on the way in. And so perform. delicate, mm-hmm. you know, and like Ocean, the sweetest little human. I got back just in time for her to arrive back home because, again, I didn't have her this weekend. Um, had I had her this weekend, it would have been Mama, Gigi, and Ocean in Palm Springs. <laughs> there would have been no Coachella. Let me, just, <laughs> let me just put that out there. Um, and not because I don't go and live my life, but again, I don't have her all the time. So... If I have her on a weekend, it's like, well, why would I choose this weekend? To do something. Yeah. 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 When I don't have her every weekend. Um, But I got home and she was so excited that she was back home. And, you know, she gets upset. Whenever she has to leave mom, she gets upset. Whenever she has to leave the other house, she gets upset, you know, which is totally fine. And kids are resilient and it's sad to watch, but we make it work. But um, we get in the bed last night and she wants, she's like, I want to cuddle you, mom. She's still fighting the sleep. But just the the tone of her voice where I say, like, I love you so much. And she goes, I love you so much, too, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Disney princess no, little voice. No, she's so cute. She is so cute. She's and so you know what's cute. great about a girl is those voices, I mean, they don't change too much. No. <laughs> Mine hasn't. But for real. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a joke. <laughs> yes. Um, and I will say this for people who are going the donor route. Yes, at the very beginning— it can feel strange and you, and and maybe it wouldn't. For me personally, it was like, wow, I didn't expect my life to be like this. Mm-hmm. Um, and I want to make this experience my own and very personal. Now that we're here and we're 20 weeks pregnant, it is mm-hmm. not really a thought in my mind that this is a baby that I conceived through a donor. It feels pretty much the same as Ocean, 
The only difference is it's my second kid. So I'm like, when I do feel the first feels, it's not, I'm not sobbing going, oh my God. And when I first heard the heartbeat, yes, I did cry. But your first baby, it's wild. Right. I'm sure. It's different. Even Stassi will tell you. And she's happily married, same baby daddy. But just know that if you go the donor route, once you're like actually pregnant, it's like the last thing on your mind. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, you think about it and you're like, oh, I'm so grateful there was a way to bring a baby into the world. But I'm not sitting here being like, I remember picking the donor. It's like, right. no, I just like am pregnant now. It's yeah. Pretty, pretty fucking awesome. I will do whatever it takes to keep the stress level as low as I possibly can in my life. And I'll tell you something that has really helped me lately. Factor. Factor's delicious, ready-to-eat meals are always fresh, never frozen. They get delivered right to my front door, and they're ready to eat in just two minutes. I've also become a big fan of their add-ons. Snacks, smoothies, Ocean loves the pancakes. I get those and the mango smoothies in every single Factor delivery because the mango smoothies are a fan favorite among Ocean and Easton. But Factor has you covered no matter how and what you're eating. Keto, calorie smart, protein plus, or vegan and veggie. The weekly menu has 35 options, including gourmet meals like filet mignon and shrimp. There's no prepping, cooking, or even cleaning up, which that part is the least amount of fun. You just heat it up, then eat it right out of the factor packaging. So easy. You can customize your weekly meals to get as much or as little as you need. And you can also pause and reschedule deliveries. So head to factormeals.com slash Lala50 and use code Lala50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code Lala50 at factormeals.com slash Lala50 to get $50 off your first box plus 20% off the next box while your subscription is active. It was revealed that you were having a baby girl. Yeah, we oh, we didn't it last even week. talk about it. Oh my God. Oh, we have I feel like I've lived a hundred lifetimes. It, like just, everyone knows. Oh we've yeah, just been I just, here, like, just the girl, brought girl. it up. I was like, yeah. "You're having Thank a baby you. girl, producer John." Thank you, yeah, producer we John. haven't even said that. Yes, it's another little girl, and I am so excited about it. And I'm going to reveal this, and Ethan's going to be upset because I know he's excited no matter what. But before we cut the cake, Jessica, you kept that secret for two months. No, two months. February. Oh, so a month. Um, that's a long time. <laughs> that, it felt like more. It, it felt, felt way more than that. Because I honestly, there was every day where I was like, I could maybe get it out of her. Never. But then I was like, if I know, I'm going to fuck it up for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have. Jessica was <laughs> poker face and I loved it. So the cake arrives and Easton's worried about the shine, right? The little sheen on <laughs> it. We had sheen on it. It was like a holographic sheen. So the way the light was hit I it, right on you'd that, see, no, you'd see pink, blue, yellow, and the light hit it a certain way. And Easton saw a pink sheen and he came up to me. Go ahead. You, <laughs> you tell me. Oh, he came up to me. He goes, why? Why do I see a pink sheen? Why is there a pink sheen on the cake? I, <laughs> I see guess a pink a sheen. Is it a girl? Is it? A... And I'm like, what are you talking? Oh, it's a holographic. It's called pearlization. Hanson's Cakes, they do it. And it's gorgeous. And he's like, are you sure? Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was panicking and I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so then my mom Dead comes on. in before we cut the cake. Yeah. I what don't know she why do? she thought this was a good idea. <laughs> she goes, I have to tell you something. <laughs> Easton called me into the guest house <laughs> and he said, please don't tell Lauren, but I'm telling you. He said, if it's a girl, he doesn't think he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said to me, mom, if it's a girl... I gotta go. I just don't think I can do it. I, I think I think I gotta call it. I think I gotta. I I can't do another girl. And I'm like, great. I, okay. I've never <laughs> felt more pressure in my life. And to what's done is done. Yeah. I have no. I have no control. I have no control. Sure enough, it's a girl. Let me tell you guys, everything in me wanted to take Easton aside in that moment and go, "Hey, hey, hey! I gotta let you know. It's a girl. Heads so up, just shut up. Take a breath. It's a girl, but we're gonna. It's gonna be amazing. And I, no, I poker faced it. it. If anything, I maybe made you think it was a boy. No, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. But I always believed it was a girl. Yeah. Said it so on let the me podcast. Just, you, you, you did, did and that was weird. But that's yeah. the thing. Like honestly, I thought it. I never thought it was a boy. I always knew subconsciously it was a girl, and I was so happy. Like, mm-hmm. I couldn't care less, but I feel like I knew it was a girl, and I was just as happy. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew I had no shot at a boy. I'll be honest. I'm actually thrilled it wasn't a boy. I and was like, there's, why? I why would it be? I just feel a shot. that it would have thrown off. I mean, we are all girls in the house. And yes, Easton pops in. And he's a great addition, and he's a part of the pod, but he doesn't live with me, right? Mm-hmm. It's Not all yet. girls. 
we're running around naked. Yeah. Right? Like, girl time. Yeah, we're going to have a penis running around the And house? all of a sudden, we got a boy that I, mama got to cover up for. Yeah. yeah I'd love it. <laughs> like, no. Yeah. Yes, I would love it. And I'll be like, tits I'm or whatever kidding. little boys say. And it's like, don't say no. that. Yes. Easton. This is how my mom knew it was, they were not supposed to be bathing together anymore. What? Is Easton would play with his trucks and use mom's boobs as the mountains. <laughs> That's the I funniest don't, shit yeah, ever. No, this See, is I'm on gonna Lisa, park, right? I'm gonna park my dump truck on on the mountains, mom. <laughs> 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 that is so cute. All right, let's cut it. It's so, <laughs> it's so cute. Crazy, you were tiny. You were little I, uh, baby, like a toddler. Oh, that's cute. It was when he was 16. <laughs> <laughs> it was last week. Like Ocean will say to me, that you have such a pretty heart on your boob, mom. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you have no heart on this boob, mom. <laughs> Just on this one. And I go, do you want tattoos? And she goes, no. <laughs> and I go, good. Don't ever. I think she'll, she'll tell random people. My mom has such a pretty heart on her boobie. It's so funny. What else does she say? It's normal for her. I love it. Of course. My mom, the butt. You got a big butt. And she tells me all the time I have a big butt. And I'm like, <laughs> what a compliment. Thank you. No one has ever said that to me before. And I appreciate you manifesting. <laughs> There's nothing I want more than a the big biggest butt. compliment. It's the biggest compliment. Cake. And by the way, if there weren't so many deaths reported for BBLs, You'd get one. you best believe I would be up in there. Like I've always wanted just like a big bum. I think your butt is very big for your waist. I'm not, you know what? No complaints. No complaints. And I was talking about my boobs this morning because I was like, they're getting massive. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know why I got the second boob job so soon. I should have freaking waited. But then again, I was banging it out with pretty hot dudes, and I'm happy that I had like a really good boob <laughs> job for them to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, they're gonna deflate you didn't have again. Some wind sock titties flapping around. Probably after this, and my mom goes, "Hey, I don't want you to stress about it. There is always surgery." <laughs> I was like, and mom, "That's a good mom. You're God, so progressive. I, I love that. Look no, at you, judgment would, free. Your body." is beautiful no matter what happens. That would be... She says that, and then she follows it up with... And if not, there's not surgery. <laughs> no, but mom has always told me, you know what? Y you look great, but if you don't like something, fix it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the ache and relief. Am Who I, would like to go am first? I starting us yeah, off? Yeah, start us Ooh, off, babe. Okay, my ache, you guys. I've had quite a week, so I thought, you know what would be good for me right now? There's a lot going on. I'm going to take... Jiu-jitsu off. I'm going to take a little break. I haven't done jiu-jitsu in a week. And let me tell you, that was a big mistake on my end because I feel like it's good to know because I feel like mentally I need it. And I've learned that. And I think it's just anything physical. But this week, a lot has been going on. And I was like, oh, physically, I'm exhausted. And I kind of wish I had kept going to jujitsu. So I'm back in it. I'm going to go it back to for tonight. your body to probably take like a week off too? I probably, mean, but maybe you got it's bruises on your I legs. I did have bruises. I think it's just maybe I should have been more physical. Maybe I should have like gone on a hike or something. But my mental state, if I'm not like active, the, gets bad. Yeah. And so that was good to sort of remind myself. Okay. I need physical things. So that's my ache. But, you know, we're getting back in tonight, which is exciting. My relief. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, I got, have you heard of Clear Stem Skin Care? And I don't like to, like, plug a lot of products or whatever. But not they, for free. No, not for free. <laughs> but <laughs> they heard about my, <laughs> not for free, but Clear Stem, feel free to uh, be a sponsor on the podcast. They sent me product because of my, like, I said hormonal acne or whatever. And I love it. Really? I am obsessed because it doesn't dry my skin out. I love that. I'm obsessed with it. And it's like, and the only reason I'm saying this now is because I got a ton of DMs of people like, girl, you're going to have a really hard time finding stuff. It, it's one or the other. Like you can ha not have acne, but then you can have dry skin mm. or red. But this so far, I'll update you. I'll be honest. If I'm like, eh, it wasn't as great as I thought. So far, thriving. Love Feels it. Good. Love it. Anyway. Good. So yeah, there's We're mine. all happy for you and your hormonal acne. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real bitch. I've been it there. It sucks. <laughs> um, been, Easton? My my ache of the week is going to be how tired and sore I am just from that everything. That was my ache. Oh, yeah. no. It's okay. Keep going. No, yeah. So we played golf on Thursday, pickleball on Saturday. With the Pointer Brothers. <gasps> the point, shout, shout out. out. Henry, uh, Henry and Mike and Maria. 
his girlfriend. So that's my egg. And then uh, the relief was just Coachella. It was my first week, uh, like week ever going. You enjoyed the parties. Yeah. Just I'm like happy that, that you went yeah, to all of those. Side of it. Because I don't Again, like a lot of people concerts. do that. Well, I don't like concerts. That's the last thing I would want to go do is walk through Coachella. Honestly. Oh, well then, yeah. Why would you why go? Why would you go? Yeah. It's literally a concert festival. That's why I didn't go. <laughs> okay, so good. I love it. But yeah, that is the ache and relief of my of my week. You killed Pickleball, by the way. I want to keep playing more. I was, we are. I'm in, I was in contact with the Pointer Brothers. I love it. You guys so took we're it back. Starting, so we're we it reclaimed it. Because, by the way, I you know I better. started it. I, I started that. the obsession. You started the whole sport of well, pickleball. Well, Jamie. No, but yeah. you know what I mean. Yes. Didn't Jamie bring it? Yes. My mom's best friend came out, and it was the pandemic, and started saying, there's this new sport called pickleball. And we became obsessed with it, and then someone took it and ran, and whatever. But, like, I started the obsession in this little, in our little crew. Right. So we've reclaimed it. You were the one who I got bought the Ocean. Net. Yep. I bought Ocean, a pickleball, um paddle by dinkies my friend's brand all posted it's so cute and tiny and has little flowers on it can i get one the flower is it one? only for kids it's for kids it's kids pickleball uh paddles oh, uh, it's shiloh's one. brand i know I, I they have to do adult ones now yeah um okay so my ache of the week i want to say is also my body yeah I'm yeah sore. like physical ache and it's kind of crappy because i can't take anything for it because i'm pregnant so i just have to like take warm baths um and also, like, I used to do this thing with my back to kind of crack it, which I can't do either because I'm pregnant and I just don't trust myself. So I'm looking for, I probably will have Dustin come and Readjust, give me a yeah. pregnancy adjustment. Oh, you can do that while mm -hmm. pregnant? Amazing. Yeah, I mean, I would only go to someone I trust. Of course. But he's very good at, he also told me that when women are not regular. Period. He gets them to be like have regular periods and I'm like why do you not share that more he's like I feel like it is like a little aggressive and maybe a turn off to people mm -mm. No, I'm like do like you realize you what that could do for some women to have regular periods and you're telling me that you can do that like some of his clients referred to him as like the period whisperer that's amazing no yeah. Bradley told me when I said I was having I had gotten off of birth control and was having he was I was like having crazy periods he's like oh my god you have to go to him go to Dusty yeah um and then my, what did I just give? My ache? Yeah. Yeah. Um, my relief of the week is that I will be spending the next two weekends in Palm Springs. <laughs> and I just realized that, like, I haven't been in so long because we've you been working. You were just there. Right. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So okay. I went and I was like, God, I love it here so much. I miss it. Good for you. So I'm like, that's like my relief. Going back next week? Of a few weeks. Not going to Coachella again. Stagecoach, though. No, we're next week we're all code. going. Look, Not no Coachella, we'll be, baby. I'm baby so trip. excited for next week though. Just Me to too. hang out at the just house. Just to chill. I'm gonna go to the club. What? The club? Sa oh. Oh, I was the clubhouse. <laughs> the clubhouse and watch the golfers have <laughs> yeah. a salad. Okay, no, I'm involved. I'm all um, right. <laughs> before we sign off, like, I cool. want to give my some of my listeners a shout out. So last week, um, on the episode, I said that my dearest friend jumped the broom. And I was unaware of the history of that phrase and where it came from. Um, when I seried it, either I didn't read all the way, which is why <laughs> we read all the way, um, or it didn't pop up. And I just thought it meant someone got married. I want to thank the listeners who educated me um, and gave me a history lesson on what jumping the broom means. Um there were a lot of you who did slide in to educate me and you guys, the way you did it was so kind. I apologize if I offended anybody. That was not my intention. So I want to give a shout out to my listeners. I love you so much. If I ever say anything that is just out of simple ignorance and just not being educated, please feel free to slide in the DM right in the comments section. I'm constantly wanting to do better, be better. Thank you so much and continue to do that. Um, when we know better, we do better. And I'm very grateful for you guys. Uh, thank you again for listening to another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. This was such a fun and uplifting Ooh. episode. I know. Reminder, um, the YouTube video drops on Friday at 9 a.m. And bonus episodes are every Monday, which are so freaking fun if you haven't tuned in. Those, um, the video and audio drops every Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Y'all are the best. I will catch you next week.
Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Did I get all three? I'm getting really good at that.